What's up, boys? Today we're gonna to be doing a play review on the objective Rico Henry card. Man is English, left back plays for Brentford, so he's a great option to link with a Bill Jones or any of the other Premier League midfielders. Even if you want, you could get the new Walcott, move him down to center mid, and link him up to Rico Henry to get that strong link. But using this guy in game, he is. I think the best left back option for the upcoming silver weekend league. He is incredible. There's a fair amount of right back options, but not a lot of left backs. And especially being English and from the Prem, he gives you so many options. I think he might be the fastest player I've actually used in this entire promo. Even out of all the attackers, even out of a Langa or that Renier or the Cherki, any of the attackers that I've used in this promo, he has been the fastest player. And that is great because a lot of, a lot of the, Pace players in this promo are wing players, so having Rico Henry who stopped them pushing down the wing is great, great news. He's 5'7", didn't, the height didn't really seem like a big issue in game. It's a bit short, but fullbacks are traditionally short, so it's not it's not an issue. And if you have a tall center back, it, it will all even out, especially with, there's not that many tall strikers, so it's not like people are going to be crossing in balls to CR7 or something like that. He's also left-footed, got three-star skill moves and two-star weak foot. I would say, keep the two-star weak foot in mind. He is a pretty good passer of the ball, at least in game. His stats may not suggest that, but he was very good passing the ball, switching the pitch, uh, pinging balls up the field, through balls, all sorts. The, the aerial top through balls, there's a combination that everyone likes to do where they, they go up with their fullback, pass it to their winger, back to the fullback and the fullback plays a through ball over the top. He was very good at that. Uh, never seemed to really hit any outrageous passes. There's times where EA just wants the ball to get intercepted. That's just going to happen. There's nothing you can do about that. But I would definitely recommend keep the weak foot in mind while you're playing. It's just keep keep it safe in your own half, you know? Looking at the in-game stats, uh, the pace, we already talked about how he's super fast and obviously so with 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed on basic uh, get sprint speed gets all the way up to 99 and that's that's really good attack positioning is super high on this card 81 gets a plus five so up to 86 and that's good he almost got a fair amount of assists he was making really good runs up the field and considering he's high medium a lot of a lot of fullbacks last year were high medium and it seemed to work really well this guy got up the field a lot was fast enough to a get up the field and then b if the attack didn't pan out in a goal he was able to get back drop back and make a defensive play in quick succession after maybe giving the ball away or just having the attack sort of fall through. Um, another thing to look out for on this card is the passing is is good. It's good. The, the base stat is 73, but the real stat that matters is the 80 short passing at eight, the 80 short passing. It's plus five with basic, and I think that's really all you need. Long passing is a bit low, but it, it didn't really seem to affect these, these left backs and right backs seem to be able to make all these passes that we need them to make both through balls and crosses with short passing, which we love to see. Dribbling, it's mad. It's just mad. 97 agility, 98 bounds. When I said this guy was quick, I meant he was quick, you know? And the agility gets a plus two, so it's all the way up to 99. So it's 99 agility, 98 balance. Combined with being 5'7 and having 96 acceleration, he is crazy, especially getting up the pitch. What I was talking about on the left, being able to run up, cut back inside, make three men miss, do a couple ball rolls. He only has three-star skills, but the ball roll still is as effective as it's ever going to be. And that is just, it's great. His dribbling stat is an 81, but that doesn't really matter when you have 98 agility and 98 balance. So it's, it's enough. Interceptions are very good at 86. I think interceptions are sometimes more important than standing tackle and sliding tackle for left backs and right backs. But this guy does have... 86 standing tackle as well. So when you have an 80 defending stat base, it, it's incredible to have both 86 interceptions and 86 standing tackle. That is because the head accuracy is so low, but you don't need to head the ball with him. He's 5'7". He's not going to win it anyways, and that's not what he's there for. He's there to run up and down the pitch, get the ball, get it to your attackers, inter intercept, defend, and defend, and just ab be an absolute demon back there. He... Might be better than some actual gold left backs. I, I think I'm trying them out in rivals just before we go into weekend league. Because I know there's not going to be some people in weekend league that aren't using silver teams. So it's going to have going to be tough to try and try and compete. But we're going to do it and we move. We're going to have good vibes. And it's going to be a great weekend league. And when we look at the physical stats, he's short. But that man can fly. 97 jumping gets plus 2. So all the way up to 99. And he's got 92 stamina. The stamina, I think, is the best thing about this card in combination with his other stats. Because his other stats... The pace, the dribbling, the passing are all useless if he if he can't if he's tired. If he's tired by the 50th minute from running up and down the pitch, rubbing down the wing, it doesn't his his ability to impact the game just 
decreases immensely. So 92 stamina is incredible. I'm going to look at that Zad, what is it called? Zadadkakar card and he has 94 stamina so maybe that's uh something you guys want to look out for do use both of them in your weekend league team a lot of these silver cards actually do a pretty decent stamina but the attackers tend to have stamina in the 80s yeah the Cherokee has 80 Renier has 82 uh the left mid uh Tales from NYCFC has 80 stamina what does Alanga have a lot yeah a lot of these cards have pretty low stamina yeah Alanga's got 80 as well it's all hovering around rates 80 so to have 12 to 10 more stamina than the attackers and be two three four or even five ratings higher on pace is just is why he feels the way he does it's why he's so impactful it's why he's such a good good option at left back love the card <laughs> love the dynamic image as well it's absolutely i like the card design as well it does remind me a bit of the you guys remember what was it foot freeze from not this, I know we had a freeze and heat promo this year, but that was kind of a stinky promo. But if you went back to FIFA 21, if you did play, Foot Freeze was an incredible promo and it's just bringing me back to these these beautiful cards and just love to see it. Um, silver cards being, being used. I've always been a fan of the Silver Stars Objectives promo. I do it almost every week. And now to have the Silver Weekend League with uh, red picks is going to be great. If you can get 11 wins, you only need eight with the Silver Team, but if you can get eight and then get three more, uh, you can get six six player picks yeah and that would be incredible even if you only get the eight wins i think you still get five player picks you get the two from your rewards and then the three that are bonus also one thing to keep in mind with this card he does not get most off the ball he's got 87 aggression and 76 strength so he may be small he may not be able to head the ball but he's gonna he's gonna if you if you spam lt or l2 or whatever console you're on he's gonna be able to shield the ball win you the ball and keep the ball which is incredible also the, the dribbling helps you break presses all sorts gotta love it and same with the pace looking at the player traits he's only got speed dribbler but still a really good trait especially with his agility and dribbling stats it's only going to help him in both the defensive actually but probably the attacking end of the pitch a lot more but boys that's going to do it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time